Just looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AOEAH.com. They have super cheap coins. You can get a million for such a steal. Head on over, and of course, if you use code Poodle, you can get a discount off your order at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we have the Zero Chill promo. It is officially live in-game. Now, guys... I've been having, I have all these welcome packs. I typically don't open any welcome packs. I just leave them there. They kind of just bother me to open. I wasn't open my zero chill welcome pack for you guys, but it's not arrived yet. It should be arriving pretty soon though. But things should start coming into the game slowly, but surely, you know, it's one of those mornings, guys. Just, I'm just happy it's coming out at the right time. And it's not one of those things where it gets delayed over and over and over again. It's slowly coming out though. It's being pushed slowly. I guess it's to reduce server issues and just making sure things are okay as it comes through. So sorry, we got release one for the zero chill players. Right, Zero Chill, guys, this is only a small portion of the promo. We still have so much more stuff to go through. But if we wait into the video, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, give us a big thumbs up as always. And of course, guys, if you want to check out Underdog Fantasy, which is a daily fantasy app that I am partnered with, code Poodle, as well as my link down below, will get you guys up to $100 free dollars to play on your first deposit. Which is super awesome because they allow $1 hands on there as well as like $1 lineups pretty much. And you can do $1 lineups every Thursday night for the rest of the year pretty much for free on their dime. So take advantage of the code. Head on down below if you guys have any questions. Hit me up on Twitter. And yeah, let's get into this, guys. So for the Zero Chill Top Cards, we have Peyton Manning, Calvin Johnson, Free Safety. So these are the two right here. We have Peyton Manning QB, Calvin a Free Safety. You guys already know if you've been playing long enough, Calvin's a staple of the Zero Chill promo now. Let's see. Exchange three players to earn Calvin Johnson your choice of three. Oh, so you get them back. You get them back Nat. So pretty much do the set. You get them all back Nat, and then you still get the Calvin. So that's pretty cool, which does mean the 93s will be a little inflated because that's going to be accounted for it. Peyton Manning, same thing. Then we have Lane Johnson. We have a uh, right tackle here. We have outside linebacker TJ Watt. Marvin Jones Jr. Buda Baker, another Buda Baker card. Pretty cool. Pretty cool on that drop. We'll check out their stats soon. As far as exchange sets go, guys, we have the typical overall exchange sets. Nothing too great here. This is probably the only one that's worth like a reroll where you could just toss some gold into and hope you hit, right? I mean, not my favorite. Not really usually. Not usually cost efficient, but it's possible. Let's go check out the Muttmas tree. Decorate these Muttmas trees with ornaments to earn players and presents. So, a 93 overall end cap player. If you put in three ornaments here, you can get them. I don't believe the ornaments can be bought. You have to go find them. They're like hidden in certain solos. I don't know if it's per day or how that goes, but we will get into that. Um, we have the zero chill auctionable and tradable or non-auctionable, non-tradable, but you can go into sets. Then we have the 85 plus zero chill with the 78 plus zero chill. Now, what I'd probably use them on are the presents. Now, this is going to be the question, right? Is it better to go with the large present or probably a random present? Typically, the random present presents the best value, I think, because you have a chance at an extra large, which is really what you want. Every other present outside of that doesn't always present a great value as it is, but could be wrong. We'll know more about that as we get closer and people start getting some more predictions on the presents. But ornaments, I'd probably use them for this. I probably wouldn't use it for any of these guys. Maybe 193 NCAT, maybe. But I don't know about that either. That's potentially uh, one of the options that go. Now, snowflakes are alive. You guys do see in that corner, middle corner up there next to trading. We have snowflakes. That's going to be the new currency for the game for the month of Zero Chill, right? Now, some packs. We have 24 hours, the Icebreaker pack. That's going to be 10 bucks. Contains 191 overall, 189 overall, 187 overall, 185 overall. Essentially, what that's saying, guys, is go go use them. Go trade them into sets. Go do what you got to do. Work your way up to 93, right? Pretty much with that same for 10 bucks. So you can go ahead and start working towards the big set. They have the Zero Chill Starter Pack. This contains 285 plus overall players for five bucks. That's really not bad. It just sucks that there's a good chance you just end up getting the 85s and you end up with five bucks for players not going to use. One week, 93 overall Zero Chill Fantasy Pack. So guys, pretty much 10 bu uh, about 15 bucks here, 10 bucks here, five bucks here. If you if you buy all of these, it'll be about 30 bucks, give or take, and you'll pretty much get an, uh, one of the masters just about because you get a 93 here. Get a 90 you can pretty much almost make a 93 between these two so all you gotta do is buy one more 93 we have the 18 times zero chill fantasy bundle um this plus the 91 plus only five percent yeah not the greatest 88 plus is 77 percent this looks like more of again of a pack we're gonna try to be pretty much just trying to build the set as well and the zero chill pack base a zero chill bundle with just 78 plus and we also get a 93 in it we get 93 and 285 plus here that's not horrible as far as zero chill goes all we have in terms of that just straight players right now we have this the snowflake offers 128,000 snowflakes for one zero chill hero what that leads me to believe is that snowflakes are a lot higher in quantity this year because there's been years where 4,000 snowflakes was a lot now we have 128,000 that leads me to believe that snowflakes are much easier together you get them by the bunches right it's just about ratio that's pretty much what i would take from that then as we move on more 
and we check it out. We got 85 plus zero chill player, 22K, 70 plus zero chill. That's gonna be the reroll for 8K. Random present, 19K. Now again, versus a large present, 72K, I probably wanna just stick to these randoms. Now let's just say, right, you have all the presents, all you're missing is like two smalls, just pop the smalls or pop the mediums, or honestly, the random presence still probably is the best value because, I mean, you can always have a chance at an extra large while potentially filling out your roster of presents if you're trying to get them all right. But the random for 19K is not bad. Uh, that's going to be the Snowflake offers. There's, potential, there's a pretty good chance we, so we add some more stuff throughout to that and a few other places. But moving on. As we go on over, let's see if anything else is out in the game. Of course, things are coming out pretty slowly. Uh, players probably won't exactly be up right away, although the packs are live, so they should be up pretty soon. Welcome to Zero Chill. Here's an ice code deal. Every one of these challenges you beat will reward you a Zero Chill player for your team. Beat them all to get the 90 overall free NCA Team Randy Moss, which is pretty cool. If you guys didn't see that, it was in the stream. You can see it right there. Pretty decent card. A deep free strategy item, which more than likely will offer you guys some speed builds and stuff like that. Now, remember, everyone you do play, you get a zero chill card here. So make sure you guys are doing that. 78 overall DD Westbrook and so on and so forth as you make your way down the list. So make sure you guys are playing that. And then we have zero chill first snow. Random present, 2500 slow, uh, snowflakes. Random present, 2500 snowflakes. Mutt tree ornament. And so, so you get two ornaments out of this. You can get up to three random presents. And remember, you can take those two ornaments, make another random present, and you get close to like 7,500 to 10K snowflakes. The night before, up miss. Now, remember, guys, it's not all the solos. It's just released one. There will be plenty, plenty more. I imagine some daily solos at some point. Also, if I'm not mistaken, you get 2,500 or 1,500 snowflakes for every day you log in. It's how it's supposed to work. It's a little glitchy right now, so know that it may not come right away. Do not freak out. Ultimate season. Let's see how they added to this for zero chill. I imagine they did two zero chill objectives. All right, you got 20 unique solo challenges, 120 stars, so on and so forth. You guys can read through this. It's typically always the same stuff. It's sets, solos, and doing stuff in head-to-head, -head, right? Or even using the players. So make sure you guys are checking that out. Now, if you do complete this, the whole thing, besides the wards you get in it, you get 92 overall and a 93 overall zero trio player, and you get presents. And if you click in it, you can see here you get coins, XP, coins, XP, coins, XP, coins, XP. And then at the end, of course, here you get this. That's pretty cool. Mutt mystery sets. Oh, sorry. You get ornaments, 92 overall, 93 overall, zero trill players and presents. It's pretty cool. I mean, I, I would do it. I think I think it's pretty cool. I mean, you're probably gonna get it done anyways. You kind of do that stuff naturally. If you're if you're actually like engaging in the promo, you're probably gonna get this stuff done. Uh, guys, there is the snowflake player, which I'm not uh, with the house rules, which I'm gonna go see if that's up and everything. So if you guys already know, guys, similar to how we always do every year, you get to pretty much pick a player, and you, it's between uh, Devonta Smith. And I'm blanking on the other guy right now. But between Devonta Smith and the other guy, and you pretty much have to go ahead and you uh, vote on which side you want to take. And the side that does end up getting more uh, votes is or wins, I should say, you know, in that sense, is going to be the one that gets it. Now, it's supposed to be like a house roll. You guys will see it. I don't believe it's live yet. But just like last year with Miles Garrett, I believe it was, and uh, Justin Herbert, similar, you pick one and they get a plus one, the winner of it. So make sure you guys, you know, don't pick your guy right away. Wait for YouTube. A lot of YouTubers are pretty much saying like, okay, we're all going this guy. And then you just go that guy because that's going to be the guy that probably wins. Definitely wait for that. Um, that's definitely important. Devonta Smith looks cool, you know, and all. But the other guy, from what I heard, was going to be the better guy. I don't know why I'm blanking so hard on who that is. Now we're heading over to Zero Chill. Uh, let's see what players are live. So the out of position filters here, of course. We got Kendall Hinton. Yeah. Oh, always. Oh, he's been getting a solid card in recent history. Uh, I, I believe that's the guy I'm thinking of right now. Quarterback scrambler, 90 speed, not a great throw. Really shouldn't be a Broncos theme team, kind of fun uh, quarterback with some speed. But Keem Hicks, fullback. Some of these guys, you actually find some hidden gems that can actually be used in your team. 85 speed, 90 strength, 80 uh, impact block. Not, not, not great, but not horrible, you know. 79 overall, right? You have to, you have to take what you get here. You know what you're dealing with. Let's see zero chill. It's still throughout by these top guys. I do want to see. I want to show you guys some Peyton Manning and some Calvin. They should be live already. There's been plenty of time. I'm so that's that's shocking. It's really shocking. It leads me to believe a few things, but let's see. Uh, the 93 is up. If they're up, they okay. So we have Marvin Jones. I do want to check out Buddha Baker. Buddha Baker typically is a really good safety card. Probably 93 speed, right? 91 speed. Wow. It's pretty low. 91 speed. He does get the hit power and zone powered up, of course. Uh, he's gonna be an all 90 safety pretty much across the board. Speed gets to 92. Not bad. Not a bad card, but for sure, that speed hurts him. That speed's going to make him not a meta, and that speed's going to hold him very far out of the meta. Not horrible, but definitely not meta. TJ Watt, is he really usable? Let's check that out. TJ Watt's going to have an 87 speed, 91 excel. That's not bad. 93 finesse move, but the blocker doesn't get there either. Not too great of a card. Again, but we know these are the set pieces. They're never going to make them too good because you get them back for free from doing the set pretty much. So 
They're always going to try to like keep him down a little bit. Lane Johnson should be good. He's a right tackle. Very safe. As long as they give him 90s across the board. Yep. All 90s across the board powered up. Going to be great. He also gets 72 speed, 83 excel. Solid right tackle. He's the best of the bunch in terms of taking a free one. I would probably take a Lane Johnson for sure. But you do get three. Remember that. So who else would you take beyond that? Remember, there's going to be more players throughout, though, right? There's going to be more releases, so expect more 93s. Uh, this guy does not get all route running thresholds unless he's powered up with a strat card. He's not horrible. Jaguars team team. Bengals. Lions team team. Guy's been around. Uh, let's flip that again. Let's see if we get any more guys to pop up here. No, I mean, that's looking like it. I mean, they're not they're not too great. Uh, Lane Johnson's actually pretty good. I wouldn't mind him on my team. Uh, let's see. 95 should be up by now. Okay, there we go. Peyton Manning. So you're doing this all to build Peyton or to doing it to build Calvin. Peyton Manning gets a 51 speed. That's a given. Actually, I thought it'd be a little bit higher because of how fast he made Dan Marino and a few other guys this year. But that's besides the point. 94 throw power. That's great. He is a field general. He does get hot rod master. He's 95 awareness. He's a field general. Doesn't really matter anyways. He's a field general, right? Now, the key part here is does he get gunslinger? His throw power will be a 95 and his overall will be a 96. I do not remember what the threshold is, but if he gets Gunslinger, Peyton Manning's going to be really, really good. The only problem is, is people like the whole escape artist kind of build right now. 95 short, 92 medium, 92 deep, 92 throwing pressure, 90 throwing the run powered up, and 93 play action. It's going to be good. It's going to be a really, really, like, if he gets Gunslinger and Hot Rod Master, this quarterback's really good. Again, does that still mean people don't want that, like, 80 speed, decently mobile quarterback? It's possible. But yeah. Um, that's better for the Peyton card. I mean, there's nothing really else to look at. He's a quarterback, so there's no, nothing behind the card that's going to really stand out. But I do want to see the Calvin go up. I mean, we did see a stat just It's not the end of the world if he doesn't go live, but it is always interesting. Guys, there's a bunch of free stuff to get, a bunch of free players. There's, you know, if you do this set pretty much, I count this as almost free players if you go ahead and take advantage of it. There's going to be the house rules with the free players. There's going to be the solos with free presents, which free presents do convert to free players when they do open. Um, by the way, presents are going to open throughout the month at certain dates. They'll stay on the present. But yeah, guys, better for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, Comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite aspect of release one, guys. This is just release one. This doesn't count Ghost of Madden. This doesn't count like the banger present times. This doesn't count um, the real out of position drops. Like, this doesn't count a lot of stuff. Like, there's gonna be a lot of LTDs. Like, there's gonna be so much good stuff throughout this promo, guys. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.